All right, so what I've got here is the um, AR rad lock um, that I ordered so that the um, pistol that I'm building would be California legal. Um, if you're putting together different pieces and parts, um, you don't necessarily always get everything, um, at least not in an easy way to follow. So as I found in my last um, kit that I opened up, I was missing a part. So for my uh, uh, what should we call polymer 80 lower? Uh, it was missing screws in this case. The 1 16th um, Allen wrench wasn't in the in the kit whenever I opened it up. Double checked. Um, even had a second set of eyes take a look, and it wasn't there. Um, so what I did end up with was what's in here, which is um, the tool, the button, the two O-rings, and a spring. Um, the O-rings it said use as necessary and uh, I ended up not using them or I don't know, I'll hold on to them, maybe I'll need them later. So from your lower kit um, you should have this for your magazine release and this is going to go obviously on this side. So that drops in and flip it over. Now later on I'm probably going to take this all apart and make that um, make the release part on this side uh, the same color as everything else since I'm trying to make everything FDE. From there you're going to take the uh, the spring and you're going to drop the spring on. Now if you follow most of the instructions online for a mag release usually what they have you do is you, you push in from the bottom like my bottom finger is doing right now and then this part screws on. Well the problem with this is it's, it's too tall so you can't really do that. Um, so I kind of scratched my head and I looked at it for a while. I'm trying to figure out, okay, what do I need to do? And so what you need to do is take these parts. Um, the spring's already on there. I didn't use an O-ring. You can put an O-ring there if you need it. Um, and then this goes on. So what I did at this point was I flipped it over. And I took this counterclockwise until I found, found or felt it catch. And then now... The threads should have started uh, on this guy. The button doesn't come off because you've started it. So what you're supposed to do at this point is take the wrench and tighten. Now as you're tightening, what's happening is the button is sucking up in there. And you can hear it tensioning with the uh, the spring. So once it uh, once it seats, um, you should be good to go. For some reason, this is feeling different um, than when I did it last time. So I don't remember feeling the spring. Maybe the spring got pinched in there. I'm not sure. It just doesn't sound or feel the same. So now to be legal in California. Um, you have to be able to take this, slide it in, and now it can't come out. So the release does nothing. This doesn't move. So to release, now what you're doing is you're going in here with the tool, and that push drops out. So now it's California legal. Now, if you're in another state, you would unscrew this, and now. I'm not going to do it because I want to keep this California legal since I'm still in the state. Um, then this would push this far enough out where when this locked in place uh, you can just push the button. So obviously I haven't done that but I'm going to suck it back up in there so that it's flush. Anyway, so that's all there is to it. Um, test it out a couple times to make sure that when you do that it releases. And good to go. So that's just a real quick on uh, how to put in the AR uh, Radlock. So good luck.